Okay. I don't know if you can hear all that thunder. Just wanted to step out here. This isn't what I wanted to do for today's video. Actually, I wasn't going to shoot a video for today, but yeah, look at that. Early June thunderstorm. Definitely good for the garden. March corn is just coming up. I have lots of stuff needs watered. Happy for the rain. Love listening to the thunder. Kind of hoping for not a lot of lightning. We do get a lot of lightning, but it's kind of... Maybe I'll step forward here for a second. Just be quiet. Oh, maybe quiet for a second, but can come down here. Wind chime is going off, and the wind on the end of the house has gotten a little bit crazy. Definitely a nice break from the heat, so I'm not going to fuss about it. Our power is off, but it won't be off for very long. I do have um, eggs in the incubator, but they will be fine for several hours, so don't worry about any of that. This won't last terribly long, but it is really nice to see. It has definitely cooled the day down. Yeah. Didn't really think I was going to be filming today. This will probably end up being a clip on tomorrow's video to show everybody how much everything grew from all that wonderful water. But, yeah, Tennessee thunderstorm. Good morning, and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It is another fun-filled installment of what is King of Planting today and uh, yeah Mark is back there behind the camera and I'm, I'll show you in just a little bit. He is working on his arch nemesis this morning. So I'm going to get out of the way of all things mechanical and I'm going to go play in the dirt. So hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start off over here. Um, in this bed, there are two open squares on this bed. That right there is all of the volunteer dill. And those are the beets and the potatoes and buckets. Now, this bed isn't sunk down too bad, and I don't have to put a whole lot in it. But the dirt that we do have mixed up is actually slated to go into the bucket garden. We are currently still waiting. I think we have four more days until the, uh, oh, I think I missed the weed, sorry. Um, got about four more days until the shipment of dirt that we're waiting for will actually arrive. So I'm just going to Get on my gloves here. I have two bags of dirt that I went and um, scavenger hunted. I have my little bag of Job's over there. And in the background we'll have us some um, chicken commentary. And if you listen really close, you can hear Simon in the tree above me. He is going to give you the blow by blow as I go through and work on this. But let me first get down in here, put a little bit of dirt and a little bit of jobs in, and then I'll show you what I've got planned to put in here.
Okay, um, Simon is up giving a blow by blow, but what I've got for this little bed here, look, I found white acorn squash. Yeah, cream of the crop, and it says it produces white two to three pounds fruit on a bush and can be picked small and used as summer squash or let ripen and use as winter squash. Now, we don't normally plant these kinds of things, but I saw it and I just absolutely had to try. So, I'm going to just do this the way I normally do a squash bed. Each square I'm going to plant um, like a five on a dice. But, yeah, I did, this isn't a very big seed packet, so I went and opened it up and counted the seeds to make sure that I had enough. Because I need 10 seeds for, for each square. I'm going to put two in every hole. I'm going to put five in each square so I had to make sure that I had plenty. So, I'm just going to turn around over here and get these guys planted. I'm really excited because I don't think I've ever seen a white one. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, now I got all of these planted, and I do actually have, I think, six extra seeds. So, I'm going to get those back up in the house. It should give me enough if I don't have a couple of them germinate, but, yeah. I don't really see that there'd be a problem, but it is nice to have a few extra seeds just in case. Now, I do have another bed over there that can't stand being empty, so... I'm going to go get some more seeds and get headed that direction. Okay, now we are on the other side of the garden. And I'm going to use this full little bed. We are right here beside the yellow and green squash. And right there are the nice big red onions. But what I'm going to do in this bed is put in some more acorn squash. Just regular acorn squash. And see if I can get my seeds here. These are from Johnny's. They're a hybrid winter acorn squash. Yeah, and there's quite a few seeds in here, so I'm not going to go in and count those. But what I am going to do is I brought my car and my tractor over here with some dirt. Now, this bed doesn't need very much. I'm just going to do it exactly the same way that I did the other one, but I'm going to use the whole bed.
Okay, I've got my seeds. I'm going to plant these the exact same way I planted the other ones. But these acorn squash are going to be a bit, a bit more of a vine. Now, the other one was a bush type plant. These are a vining type plant. So they will have plenty of room out here behind me going towards the chicken coop to do a little bit of running. But I am going to plant these exactly the same way that I just planted the other bed. Okay, now I have both of these beds planted. The only thing left to do is to water them in just a little bit. Definitely don't want to overdo it because we did have thunderstorms yesterday and we are expecting more thunderstorms later in the afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and do just a tiny bit of watering and then I'll be right back. Okay. When I first came out here on Google Front Porch to do this portion of the video, it was about 87 degrees um, on, the, on the thermometer up here on the post. And in the last five minutes, it has dropped about four degrees. The wind is really kicking up and probably hear a little bit of thunder and maybe some lightning in the background. But... I think it would probably be best to just go ahead and try to get the rest of this clip done. Uh, we did have pretty serious thunderstorms yesterday that knocked our power out for a pretty good while. Kind of looks like might be looking at the possibility of that again here kind of shortly. But anyway, to get back to today's video and today's topic. Um, we are still waiting just a couple more days on the dirt and we have so many things that I just want to be out there planting. I do not like to have um, empty boxes and buckets and yeah. Dirt is on the way. Did make a little scavenger trip to go in and get it just enough to, to keep me in the dirt for just a little while. but. When I saw the white acorn squash, I absolutely, absolutely knew that, wow, the weather is just changing like crazy. Anyway, I knew that I had to plant them. Don't normally plant a lot of um, specialty kind of items like that. Wow, it's really kicking up. But we do have, we do have plenty of squash planted right now. But, you know, this, this, 
this whole season, I think, is going to be kind of about making sure that um, we plant a little more than we need this year. So, yeah, weather is still changing quite rapidly. I'm going to go ahead and get to this last thing now. This is a package that just arrived. And I'm going to go ahead and get this open on camera. Well, kind of on camera, but my little handy dandy always with me on my cambering pocket knife here. Yeah, I'm starting to, to think we might have another power outage today. It's crazy to come up now. All right, if I get a ditch out of here real quick, I will be right back. But, I want to get in here and see what is in this box. Several pieces part. I think that Mark might have to help me with this. Okay, this looks like a little half barrel. I can get it back here. And there's absolutely nothing. Okay, the outside of the box says set of two half barrel planters. Aren't those adorable? There's one. And, oh, my box is taken off. I'm going to get the bottom set in this other one here real quick. So there are two of these. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. So looks like I will be I will be running back to, to the store to pick up some more flowers. Those are really, really neat. Now I do believe that now there's no there's no tag or card or anything but if I remember right Mark said that something was coming from Nina and I'm just going to go out on the limb here because there isn't a tag and say thank you to Nina now if you haven't seen Nina's channel you should go over and see her and Mark can um, put a little link up here but she runs let me make sure I get this right um, wow, well, I'm, I'm going to end up messing it up. She runs um, a sustainable channel. I don't remember. Well, I'm really looking. Discover Sustainable. I knew it would come to me. Sometimes, sometimes it might take me a little bit, a little bit longer. But you might remember her if you don't recognize that she, um, she ran rural, rural readiness for quite a long time. And um, yeah. there goes the wind. There goes the box. I think. Yeah, I think it's probably time for me to um, get moved back indoors. But. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. The thunder is just rolling like crazy behind me. But, yeah, I do need to get moving. So, um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It will let you know when I can't stand myself and I am outside playing in the dirt. Um, yeah, just because. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And um, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. 
And we do have, like I said, the dirt is coming here in a couple of days. And we have lots and lots and lots that we want to be getting planted. So stick around for some of that. And, yeah. I think, I think it is time for me to get moving. Don't forget we love you. And we'll see you in the next one.